An American guy said, what I love about London Walks uh, is the, uh, the granularity that you get. You know, it's pointing out stuff that you'd never notice off your own. If you did notice it, you wouldn't understand the significance of it. For David Tucker, his wife Mary and daughter Katie, knowing London is family business. But work, it's not. No one could possibly have this much fun at work. She said, everything was going splendidly until my bosom barked. The Scotsman drinks his whiskey neat. The Irish like it hot. The Australians got no national drink, so they drink the ruddy lot. <laughs> With a seemingly endless number of tours to choose from, London Walks, the oldest company of its kind in the world, attracts both tourists and residents alike, wishing to learn more about the British capital's dramatic past. It's effectively run as a guides cooperative. It, it's run on a sort of profit share uh, basis. We can attract and keep the best guides in, in London. London Walks uses professionals, so uh, we've got uh, a physician who guides our medical London Walks, we've got a barrister, uh, we've got a criminal defense lawyer, we've got two archaeologists, uh, we, we've got a geologist, we've got Britain's most distinguished crime historian, uh, university lecturers, uh, etc. These are accomplished professionals who, who know what they're doing. It's been going for half, half a century now. By Common consensus. It's not. It's not just me saying that. You know, the New York Times. You know. Let's go. You know. Publications. Travel book, etc. It's the best. Among its guided tours is the old Kensington Village Walk, which winds and weaves its way through 500 years of British history, stopping to introduce contemporaries who keep the royal borough vibrant, and to see hidden gems that only locals know about. The restaurant is called appropriately enough Babylon because it sits up above uh, the most astonishing and, and remarkable roof garden in Europe, the Darien Tom's uh, roof garden. One of uh, your uh, favorite places in London? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. And, and the set lunch menu, it's one of the culinary bargains of, of the hemisphere. It's, it's open 9 to 5. It's completely free to visit. You just have to the nows to come to that unmarked entryway, up the steps, sign the book, and up you go. And you know you can see Docklands uh, down there. That'll be 10, 12 miles away. Obviously the Eye. Uh, there's the Albert Hall. I mean it's all sort of spread out here. It's really wonderful. This is why you go on walking tours. It's local knowledge. You cannot beat it. Special access, privileged access. Gordon. Hey, Gordon. This gallery is Gallery 19. Well, it's quite a unique gallery. Um, it's architecturally um, motivated by my interest in architecture and my, my drawing. It's a lovely neighbourhood. The people are very, very wealthy, but it's all money. And, they, and they, like, they like things around them. They like personalities. They like to buy in the area, support the area. Kensington's all about hidden places and enclosures about wealth, about greenery and a certain rural character, about the court, this neighborhood's known as the old court suburb, about wondrous strange outsiders, about, yes, horses. Mm. Those factors are the Kensington Big Six. They're the keys to its character and its history. Kensington has some of the most interesting, attractive, and unusual muse in all of London. Now, the Brits know what a muse is. For the rest of you, it was the stables. This one's 1681. So that makes us, what, the sixth, seventh oldest square in London. And today, London has well over 700 squares. The square is London's principal contribution uh, to the urban experience. The greatest novel in the English language was written in this pile of bricks and mortar. The war and peace of English, the Thackeray's masterpiece, Vanity Fair. You can see the black. The owner of the house uh, wanted planning permission to knock it down and replace it. She didn't get planning permission. And she was so angry uh, that she had, uh, she did this. How many times have you done this? I do it every, every other week on a Saturday and every other week on a Thursday. So about 50 times a year. And I've been guiding it for, you know, 30 years at least, I would say. So. Yeah, but that's all good because good things happen. I, I mean, the locals, they get to know you, they start trusting you. And they open up to you. The logo on the shop is that occasionally the aristocracy in the neighborhood want to free up some space in their closets. So with his connections, he gets the stuff for a song. 
I think it's often given to him. Uh, it's always the very best German Street and Savile Row uh, label. We sell vintage clothing, anything that's unusual and stylish. We have a fairly international saying, right? Not fashion, style. Fashion creates nothing. Style is everything. It reflects you, who you are. A lot of our stuff is classic, very classic. The English look, country tweeds, good several row suits, good suits, that kind of thing. What you don't know is why they positioned the plaque right there. And the reason for that is that this was his flat. And that second wife, Valerie, lived here until 2012. I'd be doing this walk in the dead of winter. Uh, she'd be in there, and the lights were on. You could see through the curtains. You could see T.S. Eliot's books in their bookcases. A living literary shrine to the most influential poet in English of the 20th century. Heard about it from some friends, and uh, I come here frequently and stay here in Kensington. I thought, well, I should know more about the neighborhood. It was riveting. I've also been on a couple of other tours. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it Strabby <laughs> and Tower of London? They're both amazing. And this has been amazing, too. I've thoroughly enjoyed it. After a long walk, a best bet is a late lunch with an expert guide. You be my guest. Would you like a glass of wine? <laughs> <laughs> what makes this one of the best places in London they come to? Oh, there's no question about it. Panos makes it the best place, but also the food is superb. But, you know, you're getting it's a touch of Greek hospitality <laughs> in Kensington. And it's just fun. There's music. The waiters and waitresses are wonderful. It's no takeaway. Way. Just no everything way. works. To learn more about the old Kensington Village Walk and other tours offered by London Walks, go to walks.com. In London, for Newsocracy, I'm Jim Albright reporting.